How's everybody doing? Welcome to Solution Seekers. I'm Kelly. Hope everybody's having a great day. It is Thursday. The weekend's almost here. I hope everybody's looking forward to it. Uh, me, myself, I know that I am. And once I get, I shave the beard off, and I don't know. I've had it for so long, since March. I got kind of used to it, but it was just getting all over the place. And the, and I was having a problem with it, so I'm just going to start all over again, because you know what? I can. It's 2020. All bets are off. You know, um, today I went and got my second epidural. This has been one year, almost another week will be one year to the date where i just been trying to manage all of these, these health issues, and it's taken me down several, through the maze of rabbit holes, and different levels and different times but you know just the other day my roommate had asked me and I was fucking feeling like complete shit you know um, emotional, emotionally depressed because of pain physical um, distress because of the pain um, but my spirit was still high you know and this is what I told him and he's got some issues it's down with don't we all have issues you know, it's one of the luxuries of life when you reach a certain age that you start going through some shit and, you know, and the good thing about it is that you're alive. And my point when I told him was this, I said, man, today it's all about a celebration of life, right? And he's like, what the hell you mean? You want to go get some Popeye's chicken or some hat chili cheese? Because usually, typically when I want to celebrate some shit, life, I always talk about <laughs> getting some food that I probably shouldn't be eating. And, uh, you know, he sat there and he looked at me and he still doesn't say, I, I, I don't even think that you actually get it, right? Because, uh, you know, he had some death in his family and everything else and the shit pops up. But, man, it's, it's, I'm really, I'm a big advocate about it's never what happens to you that matters. It's about what the fuck are you really going to do about it? And the last thing I need to hear is, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I like to hear, it. man, that's fucked up. So what you gonna do about it? Can't nobody solve your problems for you. You're gonna have to solve them your damn self. You know, do the stages and phases of life, those hurdles or that opposition. And you know, this stuff is just having some health issues is a sheer blessing because I wake up dealing with it. But this thing, if I didn't wake up, I'm gonna be having a very bad day in, in that, at that point. And I, I can honestly say in the last year, uh, my physical pain, has caused a lot of suicidal ideation. And I really felt like just take, you know, taking that plunge. But there was a there was a greater part of myself that always that whispered to me to stay on point. And I mean, it's 2020, so all bets are off about how, how you want to try to manage it, how you want to just, um, don't try to manage it, just manage it the best way you can. I'm just trying to live 2020. And... You know, as far as I can see, 2020 has been my best year in the last few, in my last eight years of recovery, except for my first one. I have nothing to complain about. I honestly don't. Whatever that I have to deal with or whatever's been afforded to me, I'm just going to deal with it. You know, and then I'm trying to build these businesses up. I'm trying to get the life, laptop lifestyle. I'm in the Traffic Dominators. It's a, it's a group on Facebook about trying to understand the inner workings of, um, it's really intense, um, workshop on Facebook from some from Wayne Crow which is like a guru of uh, online um, online marketing and it's you know just but one thing that's been holding me back is this back pain and it's because it just pops up at the worst inconvenient time and I'm still trying to get stuff done and I can't get it done because now my focus is not there because allowing there's other issues to dominate my life you know, some things, some things, you just can't, there's nothing that you can do about it, but just tolerate it and deal with it, and you can't just push through it, because, fuck, when you try to push through it, it's going to make the situation worse, <laughs> for me anyway, because I'll always push through, and I've never just try, given myself the ability to just relax and take, take care of myself, so I've changed my diet, I've made a lot of changes, and you know what, I feel a lot better. You know, but one thing that, but the best feeling that I can possibly have in the world is when I can talk to somebody and hopefully impact them in the most 
absolute way and I usually keep that for the weekends and then even during the week um, I always I always find a way to make it happen so either somebody will call me somebody will text me and I know say like they're, they're going through something and I was like man just life has to be celebrated in 2020 look who are look at the bait we had last the other day look at we still haven't got these businesses are failing we still haven't got our, our COVID our COVID check. The unemployment still hasn't been continued. Obviously, the job market has, has a few went up a few ticks, but not even a whole percentage point. So it's really not even that much to to make a big deal about. But we're getting better. We're getting better. We're getting better. But it's just not good enough, you know. There's a lot of uh, emotional turmoil going around, and you know my whole thing with with the events of the other night with Trump and uh, that debate was that he could not categorically deny uh, the white supremacists and, you know, the alt-right groups, you know. What does stand back and get ready mean? I can, it could mean a whole lot of things, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. We'll just deal with the situation as it's been presented to us. That's, that's the best. That's all we can do. But going back to what I said initially is that if I'm not celebrating life, what the hell am I doing? If I'm not, I'm over here. I just came out of Ross. I'm doing some shopping. I had the epidural today. I can't. They told me I should be at home relaxing, but I had to get out for a minute. I was supposed to go to work tonight, but I decided not to because I'm trying to take care of myself. And uh, so I just want to celebrate getting over um, the upheavals of some of this pain and come and do some shopping they didn't have my shoe size because you know what the way the way i look at it is it's once you go through some shit it's time to get funky fresh and the best way to do that is with some fresh kicks on <laughs> prefer we get a couple pairs you know um so i got a few things messing around with the, the people that are working in there talking to them cracking jokes with the latinas in there um you know and it's 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 just it's just quality, quality, quality of value is all I want to see for myself and everybody else. Even if, even the people I don't know. I want to see you succeed even if you can't see yourself with it. You know, but that's part of my celebration in life. And I know a lot of people aren't really into that shit because they're just like, Oh, let's look at problem book. That's what I call Facebook. Let's focus on the problem. Let's enlarge the problem. But you know what? The problems are never going to go away. Man, sometimes I'm my biggest problem. I can't go away for myself, so I'm going to have to deal with myself to the best of my ability. And I'm not always successful at that. But what I am successful at is being able to find something to get out of that of that emotion, emotional turmoil. Because that shit really either two things are going to happen, right? It's either I'm going to deal with it, or it's going to deal with me in some uncertain ways. And I would prefer, always prefer, to have a a choice. And whatever happens in my life, as opposed to letting life make some decisions for me, I lived that way completely too wrong. I lost a lot of years out of my life as a result. So today, whatever's on my plate, I just have to deal with it in the best way possible. And sometimes I don't even know how to proceed doing it. And the people, I guess, I look around me and the people I know that are in recovery probably think, Oh, damn, Kelly don't have no problems. He's just like, fuck, everything is just, fuck. I got more problems than the average person, you know, because sometimes my thinking is my biggest fucking problem. So I get out of my thinking by trying to impact somebody else or what, what can I do possibly that doesn't have something to do with myself. I'm not nobody special, you know, by all intents and purposes, I should be dead. I should be dead, but I'm not. So there's a greater purpose for me being here, but what that purpose is, I have no clue. I have no idea what it is, but you know what? I'm going to keep pushing, putting myself out there and seeing what the hell my purpose is. If my purpose might be just to try to push and mold somebody else, making sure that somebody else doesn't make some of the poor, bad decisions that I've made in my life. When I can look back on those now and if, you know what, if I have to look and see it, I wouldn't change a thing. And I was literally living through hell. Like I, for, for any of you that don't know anything about me, I spent 19 years in prison, didn't do it all at one time, but by my behaviors and my actions and my not caring, always it created an environment that I really didn't like. I just dealt with it. I just dealt with it. That became the new norm for me. Now the new norm for me, this thing for us in 2020 is just, man, live your life to the fullest. Everything that you used to do prior to 2020 is off the table. And you're going to have to find a new way 
on trying to how to deal with this. I don't know what that is. I don't even know what that looks like for you. But if you have any, what does it look like for you? Please put it in the comments. Because I would love to be able to to share what your thoughts and and your process with some other people, or maybe even your perspective, because I don't even think 2020 is about a process anymore. I think that it's more so, more so than not, it's about altering and changing and enlarging one's perspective. Because I like to think that when I go to bed at night, the only thing that I have is my perspective and my God. And I hope, hopefully, I'm enlarging both of them. And some days I am, and some days I'm just not. Some days it's just like, whatever, I'm just trying to make it through it. You know, and over the last few months, um, doing Uber on the weekends, and I do like 50, 75 trips, right? And most of the people that I've been talking to feel the same way. They're just trying to manage it the best. They're trying to. And so when I always try to impose upon them is just remove the trying and just do it and just live it. Because if you try to do something, you're leaving yourself out for a whole, possibly a whole lot of bad mistakes. Well, at least that's what I used to do. You know, there was always that art that but is nothing but an argument. Um, so I just try to live it. No, I don't try to live it. I just live it to the best of my ability. And, you know, I'm not always successful. The people that really know me know I'm a, I'm a fucking hot mess too. But, and one thing, I don't even tell them most of my issues because they're not even ready for it because they can barely handle their own. And mine are completely fucking different. But you know what? At the end of the day, I'm never going to give, nothing more is going to be put on my plate more than I can handle and I try to live with that I try to invest in that and I try to enlarge that and you know I like think that makes me a pretty damn special human being because I know that you are you know in case anybody told you today they loved you well I do and I hope that this week and this weekend it's the new month that you're ready to knock it out the ballpark because if you're not thriving in 2020 you're doing something wrong and if you're doing something wrong, let's talk about that's how do you do it the right way. Okay, hopefully every, all of you got any value, quality and value out of this. If you have, please subscribe and hit the notification button. And please comment and please like the video because it will help me move up the analytics so that other people who maybe need to see this will actually see it. Until next time, you guys have a great day. And, uh, you know, and keep thriving.